Hey everybody, I'm Wes. Thanks for tuning in and watching another one of my videos. Uh, today we're going to be talking about bandwidth throttling from your internet provider via your home network connection or even your smartphone connection. Um, so be sure and stay tuned and watch this video in its entirety because there's going to be some great in-depth information about bandwidth throttling and we'll be doing a little bit of demonstrations via these routers. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about internet bandwidth throttling from your cable provider or your DSL provider or your mobile phone provider. And we're going to be talking about what is bandwidth throttling, why they do it, how they do it, and how can you tell in fact if they are doing it to you. So I want to say uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll talk some more about this uh, in this video. Alright, so bandwidth throttling is the, the means of which speed is controlled into your uh, network provider or your internet provider's modem and then the speeds that you pay for that you uh, download or upload at. So let's say you have an internet speed or an internet connection from your provider at 100 megabits per second uh, download and you have a 50 megabits per second upload. Now in a perfect world these are the speeds you should be getting all the time because that's what you're paying for. Uh, give or take 10 megabits just for internet traffic. Well, what happens is your provider can do what's called bandwidth throttling or cut your bandwidth back. And so let's say they see that maybe your household or your mobile device isn't using the required amount of bandwidth that you're paying for. Maybe, maybe you're, you're only using a quarter of that. Um, they will actually cut back your total usage of bandwidth that you can use to what you do use. Um, now this is illegal first of all, but they still do it. And um, there's a lot of different factors in why they do bandwidth throttling, but let's, you know, if they're cutting your bandwidth back because you're only using a quarter of what they've allotted you, they're gambling or they're rolling the dice believing that you're not going to really go over that because statistics have shown that you're only using, a, you know, 25 megabits of um, uh, data. Uh, on a regular basis. So that's one way to be bandwidth throttled, um, where you're just not using it, so they, they just tap you out so you don't use it. And you'll never complain because you never really need it. All right, the next method of bandwidth throttling is let's say you're a guy like me, where you have a lot of networking stuff going on, you have a ton of connected devices, you're running a bunch of stuff through your network, you're uploading constantly, you're downloading constantly, and you have the same connection of 100 megabits down and 50 up. Well, they see that you're just using it all the time and you're just a bandwidth hog. So they will cut your bandwidth back maybe to help get your neighbor some more bandwidth because maybe you're, you're in the middle of the stream and you're taking a lot of bandwidth. Or they might just be cutting you back because bandwidth costs money and um, the more you use, the more it costs. So they could just cut you back because um, you're using way too much bandwidth. Yes, you paid for that, but they still can do that and cut you back. So the way to tell if you're getting bandwidth throttled is go into your modem first of all, and you've got to log into your modem via an IP address. Uh, depending on what modem you've got, it's either 192.168.1.2 or maybe um, it's 192.168.1.2. Um, 2.1 depending on your provider. So you want to log into the actual modem, not the router, but the modem. And there are some settings in the modem under your LAN connections and stuff and you can actually see the the duplexing uh, of that modem and see if you've been cut in half um, or if you're running at full speed. Um, that's just a simple way that they do bandwidth throttling. So they'll provision your router, or I'm sorry, they'll provision your modem to just run at half speed. And regardless of what you do, you'll never get 100, you'll only get 50 down and 25 up because they've provisioned your modem to run at that speed. So that's the first way to tell if you've had bandwidth throttling going on, is to check inside your modem. Um, if you can't get into your modem, call your internet provider, ask them for the credentials, the password, and the uh, username to get into there. Um, and if they give you any heat about that, tell them, hey, you, you insist on getting in, and they'll usually let you get in. If you're a business customer, you're going to get in much easier than if you're a residential customer. Uh, but nonetheless, you should be able to get in and see what's going on with your uh, modem. 
And as I stated earlier, uh, bandwidth throttling is not legal. It is 100% illegal, but they still do it. Now, they're never going to admit to that. Um, your service tech, when he comes out to check on your slow speeds, he'll tell you, but not officially. He's just going to you know, say, hey, I'm here. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Now, why do I know these things? Because actually I have probably, I don't know, five, six different internet accounts in different locations, different companies, and we deal with this on a daily basis. So um, uh, I have some experience with this. It is a reality. It does happen. Uh, a year or two ago, um, good old AT&T, you might remember if you've seen the headlines, they got sued for bandwidth throttling in a class action for, I, I believe it was hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, and uh, they did sell out for that. So. Um, you know, you can Google that and, and, and get a little more history on it. So if you want to stop the bandwidth throttling or your bandwidth being dialed down once you've figured out um, it's happening to you, um, the only thing you can do is call your internet provider and call BS on them. Let them know that in fact this is going on and you would like it to stop. And you're wondering why your speeds are always so slow or your connection is always so intermittent. Um, and they've done all the repairs and you've got new lines and you've got new hardware, you've got a new modem and you've got a new router. Um, these are also signs to tell that you're being throttled back when you know everything is correct, but yet it's still not working right. Um, but call your internet provider, let them know what's going on and file a report with them and you know, threaten that you'll write a letter and um, that will usually change it. Um, they'll have you go through some recycling of your, your uh, modem, you know, unplug it, plug it back in and then Boom! A miracle just happens. All of a sudden, you're now downloading at full speed. Now, Xfinity, Time Warner, CenturyLink, they'll give you what's called a modem router combo or a modem uh, wireless router, router combo. It'll be one unit. Um, it's normally a really big one. I don't have one here because I don't use them. Um, and uh, uh, we'll put a picture of the screen here for you to look at. But what that is, is that's a combination modem router that you're leasing from your cable provider. It's usually five or 10 bucks a month. Um, over the course of a year, that's 120 bucks. So I suggest that you want to get rid of that and, um, and go buy your own if you can afford it. So they give you a combo modem and router and um, they have total control of that. And a lot of the times they're getting you, they're locking people out of those nowadays. One, because they want to sell you their home security stuff, their home cameras. Uh, they're even pulling remote forwarding away from a lot of these, uh, the wireless router part of this. So um, I just recommend that you stick to getting your own modem and your own router. And I personally believe that you always want a separate modem and a separate router. And the reason being is if you go to buy a new um, combo router these days, they'll say right on them, works with Time Warner, works with Comcast, works with Xfinity, right on the box, big, bold print. Um, at the end of the day, whether you buy a modem or you buy a combo unit, uh, your cable provider is going to provision it with their software and their firmware no matter what. The difference is, is if you own it, you have more rights to it and you have full access to it. Um, there are certain things by law they're not allowed to do when you own it. Uh, there are certain things allowed by law that they can in fact do when they own it. So I just recommend getting your own devices. So anyways, um, you know, talking about routers a little bit um, and bandwidth throttling, um, you know, I've got a couple of motor, our routers sitting here. I have an old school Linksys WRT54G. A lot of you might know what this router is. Uh, this is one of the best rock solid routers that were ever made. I still believe that to this day. This still works and it's about, I think, 10 years old. Uh, this is a newer Linksys WRT1900AC router. When I bought this, it was 300 bucks. Um, this is supposed to be the pimp daddy of all routers at the time. We're talking uh, three radios in there, uh, one point, dual 1.2 gigahertz processors, fast, fast, tons of bandwidth. Um, they worked great. This one still works excellent. This one worked great for about a year until I started updating it and started doing uh, the Linksys um, uh, updates and firmware updates. I didn't know when the back end this was set up to be doing automatic updates at some point. I didn't turn it off or uh, I just missed it. So as this thing started automatically updating, it started trashing this um, uh, router. And there's a lot of information about that on the internet, um, but that's a subject for another day. Uh, anyways, the difference between these two routers is uh, most people in their houses, if you're a household of two um, and you basically just use a tablet or a smart device, um, even, a, even a laptop, believe it or not, 
um, today, this little router will work plenty for you. This is this is going to give you 54 gigabit, uh, uh, 54 megabytes per second of bandwidth uh, or, or total total data through it. Um, let's say you're connected to CenturyLink or you're connected to even Time Warner or Comcast, and you're only getting 20 megs down. You're only paying for the 20 megabits per second download and you know three to 12 uh, megabits per second upload. This thing here is a monster. You'll never ever use the capability of this router because you're just not using what this is designed for. Something like this will get you by. So you don't always have to go out and buy that you know three hundred dollar uh, router and that very expensive modem to make the internet work in your home. So we'll do a video about that again um, after this video and talk a little bit more about routers to give you kind of an understanding about those and um, uh, how to set them up the right way with a with an independent mode. Anyways, I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, please subscribe and like. And remember, I will be doing a router and a modem giveaway at 100 subscribers. Uh, but in order to win, um, you're going to have to put down in the comment section below. I need your email, uh, Twitter, or Instagram if you have it. You've had to at least obviously subscribe uh, to my channel and liked at least one of my videos. Anyways, I'm Wes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.